Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Brie and I'm here today with another foundation review. Now this foundation is from Wet n Wild and this is their new Photo Focus Foundation. Um, I've heard great, great things about this foundation, but Wet n Wild. Wet n Wild. Can you please put this color into Walgreens instead of me having to... Like, I had to order this online, and I just don't feel like that's fair, but that's a whole nother video, okay? Um, so anyways, here's the color Mocha. You guys know that I'm not a Mocha, but this is the color that I ordered online for $5.99. This color looked really, really red for me, um, but I did get two of the concealers, and the concealers retail for $3.99. Um, so... These concealers are supposed to be like tested under light and clear. It's been tested under light, clear blue skies, indoors, outdoors, electric flash, um, bathroom lights, nightclub lights, blah, 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 blah. So they say that this concealer is supposed to be bomb. This foundation is supposed to be bomb. I have heard great things about this foundation, but you guys know me. I come with my honest reviews because I have to speak for myself. So, I just got one foundation. Now, if I do happen to like the color or I, if I do happen to like the foundation, I will go get another one because um, they're so cheap. So, anyways, it comes like this. I'm not going to talk too much, guys. I'm going to jump right into this because that's all. Ooh, that's really red. Me and these red foundations. But the colors are so crazy. So, I'm a makeup artist, so I kind of know how to fix colors, but if you're not a makeup artist, you might have to get two shades. Shoot, I might have to still get two shades. Okay, so that's enough for right now. This is really, really orange, and I just don't understand a company, like, I don't understand why they feel like dark skin ladies are orange, because we're not freaking orange, like... This is so orange. Like, it looks like a color corrector. But anywho, we're going to take a brush and blend it out. <clears throat> so orange. I don't know if I can fix this color. We'll see. <sighs> so orange. Oh, my God. And hopefully it don't oxidize. But what I can say, it does blend out really good. Hopefully it oxidizes to my skin complexion. Because this is so orange. Oh my gosh. I don't know, y'all. I usually fix colors, but I don't know if I can fix this color. Some stuff is just not fixable. The coverage is pretty nice. <sighs> so orange. We are not orange. I'm so sick of these companies thinking that we are orange. Like, who the fuck color is this? This is nobody color. Like, nobody is this color. Like, come on. You guys keep doing us like this. Every company keep doing us like this. Like, what, do I supposed to walk around the house like this? Do I supposed to walk around the streets like this? Y'all are crazy, man. These companies are crazy. And the color before this is way too bright for me. So, it's no, like, in-between colors, y'all. This is like ridiculous, the color. And it's like we keep supporting these companies. And they keep on like, I feel like they keep on trying us with these colors. But anyway. All right, so here's the foundation. I'm so pissed off with the color, y'all. But it is a nice, smooth consistency. It fixed this crap that's on my face. I mean, I like the foundation consistency, but the color, the color, nobody is this orange. Oh my gosh, I'm a makeup artist and I never seen a person this orange. So I don't, I don't understand when they're mixing the formula, like, why in the, why in the fuck do you, you mix orange with it? Anywho, we're going to take this concealer. This concealer feels like butter. And then they make this light concealer. It's like... I just wish these, co these companies would get... 
our color right. Like, come on now. It just pisses me off. Enough is enough. And I still review the product, although I'm talking hella shit about the company. I still review the product because it's a good product. I just feel like the education and knowledge of colors are just so off. Maybe they should take a visit to Sephora and look at Smashbox colors or Bobbi Brown colors to kind of get a hint. You know, do your research because, I don't know. This is just all long. But, okay, I'm adding this to filler, and I'm almost certain it's going to balance it out. This concealer is super light. I bought two concealers, but that one matched my tone too good. It wasn't going to, I don't think it was going to help. The concealer is very, like, the quality, it kind of reminds me of the Kat Von D concealer that just came out. So anyways, I'm going to just use this damp beauty blender and blend this in, guys. Let's see how blendable it is. Now, what I can say is this concealer looks very full coverage. Like, the coverage looks very, very full. Not very, very, but definitely a full coverage concealer, as you guys can see. So by me adding the light underneath my eyes, it's kind of balancing out the color of the foundation. That's one thing that I've learned about um, concealers. That's why I didn't really buy two foundations because I felt like the concealer was going to balance it out. But sometimes you just don't want to do that. You want to just get a good foundation color. And if you guys are wondering what color I am... Um, I'm like an NC50 from MAC, so I'm just like a almond type of girl, like a brown, a real brown skin girl. I don't know what color is coming off on the camera, but I am like a true brown, like just like a caramel brown. Like, and I have a lot of warm undertone in my skin. My skin is very warm. So as you can see, it's starting to balance it out. So I'm just taking my beauty blender and I'm just buffing it all in. I ain't gonna lie, it kind of look good. Like the concealer with the foundation mix. So I'm sure if I go get another color of the foundation, I'll probably end up really liking the foundation. But just this color alone, it's just not gonna work for me. Um, not for my complexion. I don't know who's this orange, but you know. If I really like the foundation, like I was telling you guys, I'll just go get another one. It's only five, six dollars, but it's just still, still, you know? Ain't nobody, everybody else, everybody else is only spending six dollars. Why do we have to spend twelve dollars? Like, it's not fair. It's like, it's so not fair. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I like Wet n Wild, but I just wish... They would consider at some time. I'm going to put a little bit more concealer on my forehead. This concealer is really nice. This might be like my new everyday concealer. So I'm putting, I'm putting kind of a lot of concealer to balance out the red in this foundation. You guys, when doing your makeup, you have to learn how to mix colors. Some people just, you know... Put a foundation on their face and if it don't match, they'd be like, okay, I can't find my color. You have to, like, mix foundation together and see what works for you. It's no, it's no rules into makeup. Like, you can mix foundation with concealer and you can use bronzers as blushes and you can use eyeshadow as blushes. You know, it's no rule. It's like, whatever works for you. Alright. So... There it is. You see how I kind of balanced that out, guys? The foundation don't look bad. I keep, I repeat that. It don't look bad. It don't look like a horrible foundation. I just wish that they come out with shades. And I did hear that they came out with a whole bunch of shades. But the shades ain't right. You got to go back to the drawing board, okay? For my brown girls, you know?
the shades just ain't right. Um, I did not get the powder, the um, the photo finish powder because they did not have my color in the store. Um, so I didn't get the color. I didn't get the powder. So I'm going to go ahead and set my face and I'll be right back. Alrighty. So that's it for the face. We have a couple more products. I picked up these Wet n Wild highlighting powders. The color that I picked up was Precious Petals and also Crown of My Canoli. Can Canopy. I'll leave what I don't know how to pronounce this way, but I'll leave it down below right here so you guys can know. I don't want to screw it up. Okay, so here's the um highlighters. I already used these. I'm not gonna even lie to you, and I love them. I'm gonna go ahead and set my face because that's what I normally do. Woo! I'm using my Milani setting spray. Okay, so then I'm going to go ahead and highlight the cheeks. I'm going to use this one here because it's like a more rose gold. I really like these. I had these for a minute. Ooh, ooh that is so gorgeous. Gorge. See, wait a while, you got it right with the highlighters, boo, but you got to just get it right with those colors of that foundation. Yes, you see that glow? Oh my gosh. Oh, <laughs> I love that. Yes. But I really love that highlighter, y'all. I'm going to top it off with a little bit of the lighter color that's called Precious Petals. And this one is like a champagne lighter gold. And I'm going to just, oh, that looks so good. So, so good, girl. Like, hello, good morning. <laughs> that looks so good. Hmm, that looks good. So now I'm going to put a little bit in my tear duct to open up my eyes. I'm going to the grocery store with a full face of makeup. The things I do for you guys. I love you guys. So that's why. But look at that. Look at that glow. Yes, wet and wild for the glow. The foundations don't look bad. When they all come together, it don't look bad. Okay, so we're going to wear this makeup. We're going to wear this makeup. I'm going to go ahead and do my lips. All right, guys. So I just put my lip color on. I mixed a whole bunch of colors together. Um, so here is the foundation. Let me crispy it up a little bit so you guys can see. So here's the foundation. And what time it is right now. Here's my full face. Right now it's 12.29. And hopefully I'll be back within the next couple of hours. But here's the foundation right now. Okay, so I'll be back, guys.